What's up, everybody? From an early age, we're taught, go to school, study hard, study till you burn out, graduate, get a good job, climb the corporate ladder, kiss your boss's ass, raise a family, then you die. Me, I'm the disappointment of the family. I'm the black sheep. I've decided to say this shit. There's gotta be another way. There's gotta be more out there than just this in my life. I'm meant for so much more than just that. So in my very much on-brand fashion, I've decided to become a digital nomad. Um, trying to become a digital nomad, which is basically where you're able to work and travel at the same time. Ah, yes. The ultimate freedom. A digital nomad where you take it Throw all the stuff that doesn't matter away. Wake up fully clothed, of course. Make some coffee in the morning and you get to work. Except this time you're in Costa Rica. Or you're in Guam with pirates. I don't know, what's in Guam? Or maybe you're in Hawaii. You're in Thailand. You're on a little Tibetan island and a little Tibetan village girl comes up to you and says, hey, do you want any more croutons on your Tibetan Caesar salad? Of course I do. La 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 la. Hey, my name's Yancy. And this is how I'm becoming a digital nomad. What's up everybody? Uh, it's Yancy here. Um, quick disclaimer, this is how I am starting to become a digital nomad. This isn't a set guide on what you need to do. This is just something that I'm doing right now. You can choose to follow it or you can choose to kind of tweak it and go about your own way. Cool. Now that we got that out the way, here's my story. So on August 1st, I moved out of my hometown of Maryland. Um, I've been living in Maryland for 27 years. That's my entire life. I was living in Maryland, always living at home, and I started to feel like life was getting, like, it wasn't challenging enough. I, I was just like, all right, so I'm waking up, I'm going to work. Sorry, that's my phone. I was like, I'm waking up, I'm going to work, and that's it. Like, I'm waking up, going to work, and going to the gym. And after a while of that, like every single day on top of you living at home with your mom, your parents, your sister, it gets to you. You just kind of want to live your life. So I said, okay, cool. I'm going to pack up and I'm going to Chicago. Like I didn't even tell my family. I packed up and I said, cool, I'm just, I'm going, I'm going. I didn't tell them until I think maybe mid Mid to the end of August is when they actually found out that I was in a new city. Um, we had one month to uh, live in a place, um, which was my girlfriend's sister's house. We had one month to live there to get our life set up, pretty much. Um, get jobs, find housing, kind of figure things out. I went there with uh, zero dollars in credit card debt, so I had about a $1,500 limit and about another like $1,500 and one more check on the way. The first thing I do or that we do is start hitting the ground running. So number one, what you need to do is find some sort of employment. Being a digital nomad, if you aren't making your money on the internet, you need to find a way to make that money um, in the neighborhood you live in or make that money in the city you're in. And with that, you can do easy things like bartending. I'm very good at bartending. So we're, we're in a large city. So wherever you go, you're like, okay, cool. I'm going to hop in. I'll bartend. Cool, cool, cool. Blah, blah, blah. Photography. Photography is another one of those things that you can take anywhere you want in the world. If you don't know any of those, I would recommend places that are very easy to get hired at. So a place like a grocery store. Starbucks or any of these major retailing stores that on top of doing side gigs or side hustles 
because you are new to the area and new to the city, you are going to need to have some sort of finesse or some sort of finagle when it comes to um, speaking to people and kind of uh, uh, putting things on your applications. Uh, yes. Um, number two, what you need to do, or number three, I don't know, I don't know. Number two or number three of what you need to do is secure housing. Now, if we were blessed enough to or our first month to be taken care of, we said, hey, we'll pay your first month's mortgage, because it was like 1100 bucks. We were like, okay, we're gonna pay your first month's mortgage. Um, if you can, if we can just stay with you, um, just to kind of get acclimated to the city, kind of, you know, get jobs and kind of touch down and start working on what you need to work on. Um, that after we moved out of her sister's house or her apartment, um, we got a sublet. So whatever you need to do to secure housing, do that. So if it's renting a room, getting a sublet or getting an Airbnb, things like that, just to kind of be able to buy you time to set up what you need to set up to actually start moving and making these moves. Number three, you need to build connections and set a budget. So what I did, I'm a very social guy. So when I get out into the town, I'm, I'm talking to everybody. I'm saying, hey, what's up? Yeah, I just moved here, blah, blah, blah. And people love to like show you around places, like tell you about food spots, tell you about different neighborhoods. There's so much that I've learned just in this first month and a half or almost two months of being here in a new city. It's so exciting. And then number four, what you need to do is you need to start saving that money as soon as possible. So right now, um, all my credit cards are maxed. So I am going to start working towards paying all of those off so I can start to save money again, so I can start prepping for my next move. Um, the way I go about my digital nomad is I plan on staying for like four to five months working somewhere, saving money, and then picking the new city. So that way I can kind of do exactly what I did here in another town. And with that, um, I would say my, really my last point is you can't have fear. Like a lot of times with like being a nomad, you will be unsure or things will come up and you won't really know what to do or how to move. But as long as you are just, as long as you have faith and trust in God and you're like, okay, no, like God wouldn't send me out here to conquer all of this quest just to put me on the street. Like, no, just have faith, keep your energy high and always be thinking about your, your next stay and always be thinking about what you're going to do next because Airbnbs eventually end. Leases, subleases eventually end. Renting a room eventually ends. Make sure you have a backup plan. And with that backup plan, make sure you have a backup plan to that backup plan. Again, my name's Yancey. I've been a digital nomad for two months now. Just giving you guys a little bit of advice. Y'all have a great night, day, morning, evening, afternoon. Peace. Oh, wait, I wanna do that little, that little thing. Peace.